Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm working with an Asus server. Yes, you heard right, Asus makes servers. And this one uh, is a special server, it has a lot of GPUs and it was built by AIME, a company in Berlin that is specialized for AI and high performance computing servers. I bet you have never seen 32 display ports on one computer. That's the AIME website and you can see they have quite a price range from 10,000 to 100,000 of euros. And that's about the server we have here. That's a newer model but with the same graphic cards and uh, same uh, similar CPUs. And here is the top model uh, with every option, 3 terabytes of RAM, etc. You see the price. And now it's time to actually work on this server. It came in with a problem. Uh, the problem was that one of the GPUs uh, crashed the server with PCI errors as soon as uh, the GPU was activated. So um, I'm doing some routine maintenance here. Um, first I'm cleaning the CPU itself and the CPU socket because PCI lanes are connected directly to the CPU chip and if one of these pins here has a contact problem that may cause this, uh, this issue. Originally the CPUs had a little bit too much thermal grease on it, so I hope I'm doing it better right now. I also had to remove the entire PCI backplane here, because someone has nicked off uh, one of the capacitors, eventually by installing the, the graphics cards in, in the first time. So I had to take that out and it's connected with cables to the main board so I had to disconnect all the cables and maybe that also was cause of the problem. Sometimes these connections are not uh, perfect so, and disconnecting and reconnecting something may actually repair it. You can see here the startup and also the BIOS screen look pretty normal like any other ASUS mainboard from a PC. Uh, I mean there's no need to do something fancy here. It works and that's it. And it boots pretty fast even if it has a terabyte of RAM as you can see here. And here we have the Windows uh, Device Manager. We see eight NVIDIA graphic cards. And here we have a little bit of thermal imaging. So the output temperature is about 50 degrees Celsius, but there is a lot of air coming out, so it's a pretty good heater. I didn't measure the power consumption, but I guess it's about two kilowatts. And you can also see on the cover of the server uh, shiny metal surfaces can't be measured because they look like a mirror. 
Here is the GPU utilization curve from the NVIDIA um, app here. And you can also see only the first four cards have a colored bar. And it seems NVIDIA didn't expect anyone to have more than four cards, so the rest just gets a black curve. Here you see I'm using Boink for uh, testing the CPUs and the GPUs in the server. And I think that's a pretty nice solution because it uses the entire system and it does something useful. Boink, for those who don't know it, is a platform from the University of Berkeley. They made that and uh, it combines a lot of scientific projects that are distributed to computers all over the network. So you can participate there by your own. There are a, a ton of different uh, projects you can choose from scientific project, mathematics, uh, universe and the whole thing started as SETI, search for extraterrestrial intelligence and that was later than one of the projects from Boeing and SETI was mainly from the Arecibo radio telescope. Here you can see a picture from better days. As you probably know, this thing has collapsed and is no more. So, uh, but there are other projects. For example, we have a nice one here in Switzerland from CERN. The LHC, the Large Hadron Collider, they produce a lot of data every day. And they also need your help to uh, calculate everything and that's a graph here about how much data they produce every month. And on the graph here is only the data they store on magnetic tape for uh, archiving. So the daily output is much higher. So they produce terabytes or petabytes per second with every experiment. And well, of course, they need a little bit more computer power so you can help them to achieve their goals.